Hello and welcome, I'm Tino and today we are going to explain how much better is the heavy fighter versus the small fighter in a one-to-one -one combat, in a one-to-one -one dog fight. We already know that in big numbers the small fighter prevails with perfect detection and with low detection the heavy fighter destroys the small fighter but that's for another video for now I need to explain how much better is in a one-to-one -one combat the heavy fighter. We are going to compare model 36 that I'm going to explain in detail and then I'm going to just show the results for the model 40. So this is the Meta Fighter 36, the best you can do with the 36 small chassis. You put heavy machine guns, you put self-sealing tanks, one smart of armor and the best engine that is a level 2 engine. So we are going to write down these numbers that are going to be very important for the comparison. And this is the Meta Heavy 36 for heavy machine guns, self-sealing tanks. We can't use armor because if we do, the plane will not take off and you can put a radio. This is optional and we are going to write down these numbers and the industrial capacity cost. First, we need to compare the difference of the agility is 50 versus 30. So what you do is you put 50 divide by 30 and this will give you that the advantage in agility is 66 percent so we are going to subtract one and we have an advantage of 66 and the bonus per 100 percent advantage is 30 percent so we are going to multiply this number by 0.30 multiply by 0.30 and we have the agility advantage is 0.2 what is the agility for? the agility increases the defense of the fi faster plane in this case the, the small fighter is more agile so it will get a 20% damage reduction so you must subtract from 48 20% and that reduces the heavy fighter attack to 38.4 so the real attack of the heavy fighter is 38.4 and the real attack of the small fighter keeps the same 24 so you can see it has a huge advantage in attack the heavy fighter and the defense remains the same and also the speed gives a small boost to the attack of the small fighter so we need to compare we're going to divide, divide 419 divide 460 and this means that the small fighter has an advantage of 0 0.6 0 0.066% 6 in speed and the bonus for the speed is higher since it's more difficult to obtain and we must multiply this by 0.60 60% is the bonus when you reach 100% so we multiply by 60 and we have a bonus of 3% 3.6% to the attack of the small frame and we multiply this bonus by the attack of the small frame and we have our real attack from the small frame for 24.8 so it increases 0.8 almost 0.9 in the damage of the soft frame of the small frame so as a summary so far we have the small file fighter that had an attack of 24 but thanks to its high speed the attack is 24.8 and a defense of 19. On the other side we have the fame fighter with an original attack of 48 but thanks to the evasion to the agility of the enemy fighter it goes down to 38.4 and the defense is Kiger 26. How do, what we are going to do now? The real damage of the heavy fighter is going to be this number divided by 19 and the real damage of the small fighter is going to be this number divided by the heavy fighter defense so we are going to do that right now so finally we have the response for the question how much powerful is the heavy fighter the heavy fighter is as double as powerful as the small frame if you divide this number by this one you will get um, approximately 2.01 so it's almost twice as good but the cost is 52.5 against the much cheaper small frame that costs 29 and you may be thinking right now well 
something's wrong because it's, if it deals twice as damage and it costs less than half then the heavy fighter should be better 100 and something heavy fighter versus 200 small fighter and that is not true I'm going to give you an example sorry the animation but this is what I can do let's assume that you have 100 heavy fighters down here on this side 155 versus 200 small frames on the right side and these units the heavy fighter deals twice as damage so they have a weapon super weapon that deals, deals one damage and the other planes deal only half of that 0 0.5 this means that these, these planes are so powerful that with one shot they can bring one enemy plane so basically on the first round all these planes shot at the enemy and they will destroy about 100 enemy small frames but at the same time the small frames fight all fire all at the same time 200 multiplied by 0 0.5 and it's 100 damage and this means it that the 100 heavy frames will be down so despite the heavy frames had a weapon uh, twice as strong they only kill half of the small frames and yes, that's the Lanchester score formula. Lanchester was a, a very intelligent, clever guy that analyzed these things and gave mathematical aspects. And what he discovered was that the damage of the unit in our situation is the attack of the plane divided by the defense of the enemy multiplied by the quantity of planes of units to the score it's the real damage of your army, your air fleet, wherever you are, you have. That means that the quantity is more important than the damage. So, despite we have double damage, and the enemy can, could make double quantity because they cost half the price, is much more important than quantity. And that will explain many behaviors that you have doing in usually when you play, for example, Total War. If you have the technical superiority, you have better units, you try to concentrate them all in a small front line. On the other hand, if you have numbers, you try to fight in the open and surround the enemy. So that's your tactic. How, but how can we use that tactic in our advantage in Hearts of Iron? Well, there is one way to do that, and it's called detection if the detection is small you are going to be making the corridor narrow and you are going to be transforming the instead of Lanchester square that is the simulation where you have an open field into into Lanchester linear that is when you are one-to-one -one combat and that's the topic of the next video why heavy fighters outperforms the small fighters when you have low detection and one final thing, if you want to know the efficiency of the plane, you should divide the damage divided by the industrial capacity, the score of the industrial capacity cost, in this case will be 0.9 divided by 29, the score of 29, and that will give you the efficiency of the small fighter and you can take the radio away from the heavy fighter and do the same thing you divide this divided by the score of the cost and you will see the efficiency of the place of the plane in a perfect um, Lanchester square comparison that is when you have 100% efficiency and 100% detection and I'm going to add this video to the new section and the lower part of the channel questions and answers about the template section and I'm also going to add into the air warfare section I will leave the links at the end of the video if you want to see them and that's all thanks for watching see you the next time bye bye